You've set your group up. So now, first of all, before adding anybody to your group, you need to add at least 10 products so that you've got something to showcase to them. There's no point in adding people and then adding loads of products because all they're going to see is you keep stacking products into your group and it's going to put them off. So make sure the products are in first. And the way to do this and the easiest way to do it is go to www cleaneasy.co.uk. So this is your main website that you're going to be logging into so that you can browse the products that are in stock. And all you do is click on distributor login in the top right hand corner. Put your Clean Easy account number in and password. And it's really quite simple. This is the order in sight. You click on the pink pink box and it's going to take you through and you're going to click on browse products on the tab on the left hand side. So here is the browse product section and you can see they've listed it all here for you. Um, very easy to find all you do is you put the product number at the top here and then you search for it and it will come up. Now I'm going to also show you while we're here it's got add to order and add to drop ship. And we'll be going into that later on. So don't worry about that. This is about finding products to go into your group. Now, not only do you need this tab open, but you also need to find the current K-Life catalogue or the Clean Easy catalogue so that you can browse through. If you don't have one to hand with all the um, product numbers, then you'll need to go and find this online. And you open up another tab and click on Distributor Login and simply log in. And again, all you need to do is come here and you see the um, yellow box here. It says the latest catalogues. If you click on latest catalogues and then this is the K-Life, the very latest K-Life. Click on the UK or Ireland, whichever country you're in. Click on and it takes a little while to download. Now, mine's downloaded very quickly because I've already got it preloaded on the computer. So the buttons down here mean that you can easily flick the pages and here it is. OK, so what I'm going to do is choose something on here to actually put on um, on the selling group to highlight or showcase our product. What I'm going to do is select one of the scarves here and I'm going to go back to the browse product section and I'm going to put in the code at the top here so that the picture or image will come up. And here we have it. Here it is. And uh, to select the image, you just click on the image here and use a crop it tool, whatever crop it tool you've got. And we suggest that it is more, it's very important that you crop it rather than download it to your computer, because as soon as you download, it'll have a digital tag for Clean Easy or K Life on it. And of course, that's what gets restrictions as well. So just snip the image. Now I've got a, a tool here where I can actually easily add in the price on my image. So I do suggest you do that as well. I'm going to copy the image. Now I'm using a Mac computer, so it might be slightly different for yourselves. And all you'd need to do is um, save it to a file on your desktop. You would now open up your group or your page, wherever you're posting and upload it or simply paste it in. Now, what we've noticed is if you create curiosity with your posting, you're going to get more sales and obviously not putting the price on. You don't have to put the price on the picture, you, but I would suggest you don't put the price in the description as well. You want to encourage people to communicate with you, ask how much it is um, or not just show it on the newsfeed because Facebook do pick up the pound sign and of course, that's when you get slowed down. So and just have a one liner, some sort of caption that attracts the attention of people on your members list so that it's not always sell, sell, sell. So with something like this, I'd just say. Don't forget to wrap up warm in style. So really, it is just something really simple, but that is not selling, is it? Don't forget to wrap up warm in style. It's got the price on it so people can see I'm selling it anyway. It is a selling group, but it really does attract quite a bit of attention. And people will still say to you, can they purchase the product and simply post. 
I've gone back for another product and what I'm after is the quilted leather bag. So all you need to do again is crop the image. Don't forget, always crop the image. Now you've got a couple of pictures here you can choose from and I might actually upload both of them. So on the image, I'm still going to post, uh, put the price on it. Again, it's entirely up to you. Now you can see what I've done on here is I've put the price at the bottom near the bag because if you put it at the top, they're gonna, they may think it is the top. I know that the heading will indicate it's the bag, but it's good to actually have it very clean, very simple, and don't overcrowd it with too many images. Now what I've done here is I've taken the two images and I put a heading, celebrity bag. Now it didn't say anything on it, what type of bag it was other than um, a leather bag. So I will put that in, celebrity leather bag um, so that people know it's leather. Uh, it's a great little, um, two great little images, not overcrowded with too much information. And I'm just simply gonna post like this. So if somebody clicks on it, they will see. And of course, the next picture. How simple is that? And that's all you need to do in your group is to go through and put catchy headings. You're not selling, you're showcasing your product and people will ask you, what size is that? How much does it cost? Does it come in any other color? Don't give away too much information. You're encouraging conversation. Um, you're not making it look too salesy on this one because what you're doing is opening your group up now to be a showcase for your products. We're getting a lot more attention. People aren't getting fed up with seeing sale, sale, sale on the newsfeed. They're seeing catchy one-liner headings with some great I'm products. gonna show you how to place a recruitment ad and I do recommend you place recruitment ads in your own selling group as well. So once you've got some members in there, it is a good idea to actually place an advert very similar to this. Now I find lineage works best and um, you'll see here, all I've done is click on start a discussion because I don't want to sell something. I start a discussion and then I'm able to post this. And all I've written is, can you help? I'm looking for people who'd like to earn money promoting products online using social media. I'm not actually mentioning what social media because I do find that sometimes you mention Facebook too much um, in an advert and you can pick up a restriction as well because they do come and have a look at what sort of adverts you're doing. And if you would, uh, if you know anyone who may be interested, please private message me. Don't put please PM me because some people don't actually know what a PM is. PM is obviously private message, which is this little box up here, but you're actually spelling it out for them and then put thanks. And you will notice under every single thing that I ever post within my group and in external groups will always be hashtag by local maidenhead. That's my branding. It goes on absolutely everything I do, um, which is business. So that when people click on it, all of my posts will come up. So keep it simple. You don't need to post pictures. Yes, pictures do work, but quite often pi pictures uh, can cause you loads of problems. I find written lineage like this works the best and I've had the most leads from using this. And that way you can obviously um, promote your business within your group. Now, you would use the same principle if you were posting into external groups, but please remember that multiple posting, you will pick up a restriction. If you post this more than three times, the chances are you can pick up a restriction if you do it in quick succession. So we suggest that all of your posts um, are actually spread out throughout the day. And we recommend that you post five product um, posts within your group and please spread those out throughout the day. So don't post them all in bulk because the chances are the people won't see them anyway because only one or maybe two will show up on their newsfeed. If you post five, post one in the morning before you go to work and one maybe in a break time, have it all planned so that you know exactly what you're going to do each day and then post into the evening if you can. But make sure they're all spread out. And I would post a recruitment ad um, once or twice a week within my own group. Um, obviously, you speak to your sponsor and your sponsor will give you some more advice on how many to post within your group. And don't forget also, you're posting one interactive post a day into your group as well, because you need that interaction, you need that communication going um, within, the, within the group.
show you in a little bit more detail how to post. Don't forget, don't be over, overly promotional. Post to create curiosity. You need to create conversations within your group. And this is posting into your own group and these are some suggestions. I love the way this creates a different light and effect in the room. You would put that in the post and then you would add the picture. Now this would be the picture, the price in the, in the top right hand corner. So you need an editing suite where you can just put the price in. Most computers you're able to easily do that. So none of that is overly promotional. You're joining in with the conversation. Social media is social. It is not really for promotional purposes unless obviously you do pay for pages or pay for advertising and then it is done very discreetly by Facebook. By being overly promotional you're not doing it discreetly so you basically interrupt the news feed and this is actually going to flow so if you do it right and you do it like this you will actually flow with the news feed. Now here's another example where are your mates with this funky looking food? Again not overly promotional. You have the price on it. Everybody knows you're selling it. It is a selling group anyway. Again, here's another one. Great heading. Put the price on the picture. What's new pussycat? A duvet for the perfectionist. You can have a bit of fun. That's what it's all about. Facebook should be fun. It shouldn't be promote promote, promote. And the more and more people see all these over promotional posts, they just report them, not interested in them. And of course, you don't want that. And you certainly don't want the people on your friends list who you've added to the group to get fed up with your posts because they are push, push, push all the time. So that was posting into your own selling group. Now you do it slightly different if you're going to be posting into the local area. Let's just say you want to connect with people or sell products in the local area. You could put, I love the way this creates a different lighting effect in the room. Hashtag shop with Jeannie. Now the hashtag shop with Jeannie is the name of my selling group. I've hashtagged it because it creates the link and people can easily click on that link and see other products that I've got for sale um, that I've posted in, uh, into other open groups. I put the price on the picture. Now you'll notice in the top right hand corner of the picture I've put Bargain Lights Promo. And that's because I want, I'm indicating that I am selling other things and I'm selling things at a discount, but it's only gentle. It's nothing in your face. It's not sort of buy this, come and look at this or join this. And at the bottom I've got, please join us by clicking the hashtag shop with Jeannie above. So of course the hashtag is the link for anybody who doesn't realise they will read that at the bottom and if they want to join us they can. Again here's another one, where are your mates with this funky looking food? Hashtag shop with Jeannie. And I've put low carb cooking because I want to attract people to see that they can use this for low carb cooking. And the price in the top right hand corner on this one, again at the bottom I've put please join us by clicking the hashtag shop with Jeannie above. Now this is how you advertise uh, for new members to join your group because sometimes people want to drive a little bit more traffic. I, I don't necessarily get lots of traffic coming to my group straight away. I work with people that I'm connected with, people in my warm market, and then they work with their warm market. That is without a shadow of a doubt a better way to connect with people on Facebook and in your group and to have great sales in your group. If there is that connection, then people will see it more on the newsfeed. Anybody who is connected to you will see more of your newsfeed than anybody else. So you don't want to attract too many people that aren't connected. Now that doesn't mean that you've got to go and friend everybody because if you do start friending people that you don't know, then Facebook do put a restriction on that as well. So you have to be very careful. So create curiosity and people will join you. So this is an advert I've used to attract people to my group. It's not overly promotional. It's not saying, join me, join my group. It's not interrupting somebody else's newsfeed on their group, saying, come and join my group, because obviously that can come across quite rude. Um, and it is not doing any of that. What it's doing is joining in socially, offering something, come and join in the big bed debate um, at Shop with Genie. 
and do you sleep on the left or the right is creating a little bit of curiosity. They can clearly see that I'm selling bedding. I've used the attractive bedding that's attracting a lot of attention at the moment. So people want to come in and see what else I've got on offer. In the top right hand corner, I've put bargain bedding promo. Again, they can clearly see I'm selling bedding. And at the bottom, click the hashtag above Shop Regini. So people who don't really understand hashtags know that they can click on that and it's going to take them through to my group. So it's really simple advertising, creating curiosity. And of course, when they join the group, they can join in with the, the debate. And because that creates conversation within the group, they are going to start seeing things on their newsfeed.